In this particular session, we are discussing the first category, whatever we have mentioned in the algorithm classifications, and that is the simple recursive algorithms. We know the recursion. In case of recursion, the recursive algorithm will have a base case. That means for certain situations, for certain inputs, outputs are known to us where the algorithm will terminate. And then in the next part, we will be having a recursive call which will be calling the function itself either directly or indirectly. Okay. So, that is our recursion. But here we are calling it as a simple recursive algorithm. We are using this term simple because here we are having multiple other algorithm types which are inherently recursive. If you consider your backtracking algorithm that is inherently recursive. So, here we are considering the problem which is very simple. Okay, solve the base case directly. We know the base case I discussed that for certain situations, for certain inputs, outputs are known to us. So, here the solve to the base case will be done directly. Records with a simpler sub problem. That means the problem will be, will be made very simple and then the problem will be solved through this particular simple recursive algorithms. Extra initiatives may require to convert the solution of the solution to the simpler sub problems into a solution to the given problem. So, that is why we shall solve the sub problem, we shall make the sub problem very simple and that sub problem solution will contribute towards the solution of the main given problem. It is a simple recursive because some other algorithms are inherently recursive. So, I mentioned that one. If we consider the backtracking algorithm that is the in, uh, inherently recursive, but here this in this particular category we are talking about a very simple recursive algorithms. As an example, we can go for this. Let us suppose it has been asked that to count the number of data items in a list present. So, we are going to count the number of data items in the data list present. So, now you see the base case will be if the list is empty then count will be 0 and the 0 will be returned. So, if the list is empty then return 0 otherwise I shall go for the recursive call. Other than the first item that means if you consider the first item I am just taking the first item away count the number of remaining data items in the list and if we can count the number of remaining data items in the list then add 1 to the result because the first item count will be added and that value will be returned. Now, while counting the number of remaining data items in the list will be calling the recursive function will be calling the recursive algorithm again and that is the source of this recursion. So, here we have discussed what is a simple recursive algorithm and we have explained that one with one a very simple example. So, please watch our next videos there will be going for other algorithm classifications. Thanks for watching this video.